So today I'm going to be showing you how I created this severed finger. It's actually really simple and easy. So first of all I'm going to start off by getting some liquid latex and I'm going to put it all over the finger that I'm wanting to cast. So I'm just going to put it all over like this and then I'm going to wait 5 minutes to let it dry. And then I'm going to take some strips of tissue paper and I'm going to go over where I've placed the latex doing tissue with latex, tissue latex about three times, three layers. So once all that's dried, I'm just going to take a soft brush and I'm going to put some translucent powder over it. You can use baby powder or whatever you have. And then I'm going to take a sharp tool and just start to push over the edge, just like this, to release it. And then I'm going to pull it off, just like so. So now it's time to make the actual finger. So I'm going to take some gelatine, what I got sent to me by the amazing Tilt, and some foundation. I'm going to mix it together, put it in the microwave for 10 seconds until it goes watery, just like this. And then I'm going to pour it into the cast that we've just made and I'm going to wait about half an hour just to let it all dry. So once you have waited about half an hour for it to dry, you can take the latex from around the edge revealing the severed finger. And then I'm going to take two types of blood, which Tilt also sent me, so thank you very much. And I'm just going to put it all over the severed finger, so I'm going to use the Mold Life one first, and then I'm going to use the Fleet Street one, because they're both different tones. Um, and this will give like a really gory, look. To finish going wild with the blood, this look is complete and that is how I created my little severed finger effect. Thanks for watching guys, I really hope you enjoyed the tutorial. Don't forget to check out my Instagram where I do post daily makeup updates at SFX by David. Bye guys!